Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about some tips to prepare for the Marlins test. We will start with the preparation. In order to pass the Marlins test, you will be expected to have a decent command of English already. This video is just to let you prepare on the things that you will potentially be tested. Same as with any type of test, there are some preparation to be done, but you need to have a certain standard of English knowledge in you already. So, for the first part of the preparation, you will need to know the preposition words. These are words to show a relationship between two or more people, things, or places. Words like above, across, against, below, beneath, beside, down, from, in, with, and within. For example, in this picture, the sentence could be to identify the position of the person. The options are the person is on top of the petrol stand, the person is beside the petrol stand, the person is behind the petrol stand. From here, we can see that the question is asking for the position of the person in relation to the petrol stand based on the options given. So looking at the picture here, we can see that the person is standing on the ground Thus, option 1 is out as the person is not off the ground to be on top of the stand. Secondly, if you are in front of or behind something or someone, one of you would be blocked and we wouldn't be able to see both subjects in full view. But in this picture, we are able to see both the person and the petrol stand clearly. Thus, option 3 is out as well. The person couldn't be behind the stand and that leaves us with option 2 beside the stand. If you want to be sure it is option 2, the analysis could be assuming that this is the front of the stand, being beside it would be the left and right of it, and in this case the person is at the right of the stand, our left as you see it, so it would be being beside it. You know the position of the person by comparing him or her to another thing, person, or place, which in this case is the petrol stand. In another example specific to the Marlins test, although the sentence only states choose the correct sentence to describe the image, you will be able to know what it is asking for based on the options. The sun is setting on top of the platform, the sun is setting behind the platform, and so forth. In this case, it is asking for the position of the sun in relation to the platform. Firstly, the meaning of the platform in this scenario is this thing here. Mainly seen in the offshore work area. For this question, we can apply our general knowledge here as well. Most of us would know that the sun is located far away, even when it looks very close to us when the sun is rising or setting. Thus, with this piece of information, we know that it is near impossible that the sun is in the platform. Either the sun will be super huge and we will all be burned, if not the platform will be very tiny in order for these two things to be in the same distance or to match up. Secondly, to be on top of something or someone in terms of position, the two subjects or more need to have physical contact with each other, which in this case it is impossible as well because anyone or anything that comes close to the sun will be burned, thus options 1 and 3 are out. However it moves, the sun will still be behind the platform as it is located far away. In this case, the sun is setting behind the platform will be the correct answer. Knowing these words will be helpful in the grammar section as you will be able to correctly identify the relationship between two or more subjects based on the picture given or question asked. Okay, so for the second part of the preparation, you will need to know the technical jargon words. This just means that you have to know the words or lingo of the industry that you want to work in. For example, if you are taking the test for seafarers, then it is good to know words like bridge, tugboats, containers, hills, and more. Even if it is not directly related to the job position that you are applying for, it is good to know the terms as an industry as a whole. 
for cruise ship, as you will be working on a passenger ship, you will have wider range of jobs available on board. Thus, you have got to know terms like traveler's check, menu, or medicine. Next, when taking the test, there are some points that you can take note of to potentially do better. Firstly, on listening question. Listening questions are normally in the first section to clear in the test. You can only hear the dialogue twice for each listening question, thus the first suggestion will be for the candidates to read the question first, to have a rough idea of what he is asking for, then proceed with the listening of the dialogue. This is because as you read the question first, you would have an idea of what to expect and to look out for. Then when you are listening to the dialogue, you can be extra attentive to the information that you are looking to pick up. Rather than trying to hold on to every piece of information in the dialogue and risk forgetting bits and pieces of it later, at least when you have read the question first, you zoom in to what is needed. For example, a guest is asking about vegetarian dishes at a restaurant, why is the guest worried about the cucumber salad? From this question, candidates can break down the info given into three parts, the location set at or the location talked about in the dialogue, the people involved in the conversation, the question being asked. So the location set at or the location talked about in the dialogue, from this question you would have expected the scene to be set in a restaurant, the people involved in the conversation, the guest is asking about vegetarian dishes. So we could assume that the guest is still looking at the menu and is having a conversation with the waiter or waitress. The question being asked, why is the guest worried about the cucumber salad? From this question, we would know what to look out for when listening to the dialogue, and that is the cucumber salad. And in the question, there is the word worried, so there is a concern that the guest has regarding the cucumber salad. After doing this quick analysis, listen to the dialogue for the first time, and you will have a clearer picture of the dialogue in your mind. So a good practice will be, read the question once first, listen to the dialogue for the first time, read the question again and answer if you are confident, if not, listen to the dialogue again then answer the question. Secondly, on vocabulary question, a reminder that for the vocabulary category, move each word to the correct section. Each section should only have two words in it. A tip would be to match the words that you know first, then the rest would be for the column that you are not sure of. For example, for this section, purser, chef, nurse. You have menu, food, currency exchange, traveler's check, medicine, bandage. Let's say if you are really unsure what the word purser is, but you do know what comes under chef and nurse, then drag the words into these two sections first, and the rest will be left for the third section that you are unsure of. Just keep in mind the two words in each section rule. If you have any number of words other than two in it, something is wrong. Okay, so lastly, on labeling of objects in the image. For the section under vocabulary, labeling of objects in the image. To be sure that you really will get a point for each label, place the label directly on top of the object instead of just pointing it at the side of the object. You wouldn't want to take the risk to lose the points here, especially if you do know all the answers and lose the points just because the labels didn't touch or didn't touch enough of the correct objects in order to get the points. These things that I've talked about normally happen subconsciously in the mind, in a second or less, but sometimes we tend to overlook these details as well, so we need to be extra careful when going through every question to make sure that we do not miss out on any points. Do remember that you are able to go forward and backward for every question, even if you have answered them already, so that you are able to check the answers one more time before submitting. 
Alright, so that's all for now. Do go through the other Marlinx test videos to get prepared for the test. See you soon. Bye.